There's no right or wrong way to grieve. This might sound like a cop-out, but it's really the truth. So many things influence our grieving and our ability to grieve. The way somebody dies, when they die, your relationship with that person, other things that are going on in your life at the time, the list is endless. Most of us will experience multiple bereavements during our lifetimes and won't even feel the same about each one of those. And all of the influencing factors around each bereavement will change how you're able to cope. But what do we know about the common reactions and emotions around grief? We know from our clients, research and from personal experience that one of the ways grief can make us feel is though we are removed from our lives somehow, as though we are living in a strange bubble. It gives us a sense that our world has stopped. Everything feels strangely unreal, and what makes it worse is that everyone else's lives just carry on as normal. You can walk into anywhere and feel like you are moving at a slower pace than all the other people around you. This is often the sensation that happens in the early stages of grief, at the point when you haven't really processed what has happened, are perhaps still in shock, and are struggling to get your head around your bereavement, and what the implications of that are for you and your life. Sometimes we just feel completely overwhelmed by the emotions that come with grieving. The pain of grief can be so strong that we feel it physically. That horrible hollow feeling in the stomach, butterflies, feeling sick, headaches, muscle aches and pains, exhaustion, all can be symptoms of grief. And the emotions that come with it, of anger, guilt, unbearable sadness, relief, fear, loneliness, can all add up to us feeling completely out of control. Many of the people we support tell us that they felt as though they were going mad. At other times we don't have any choice but to put our grief down for a while because there are practical things that have to be dealt with, as little as we may want to. In some ways, this can also be a relief from the overwhelming emotions associated with grieving. And of course we don't feel any of these things in isolation, or in a straight line, or in a neat little time frame. Grief comes like waves. Sometimes the waves are small and manageable. Sometimes you'll experience a period of calm and then a huge wave comes along that knocks you right off your feet again. Over time it is natural for the acute nature of your feelings and physical symptoms to lessen and become more manageable. Hopefully you will start to feel as though you are adapting to how your life has changed and like you are able to re-engage with life again. You won't be the same person that you were before your bereavement. No one remains completely unaffected by grief but you will eventually grow around your grief and it will become an integral but manageable part of what makes you who you are. So when should you seek additional support? There are different reasons why people seek support from counselling and each of them is perfectly valid. Perhaps you feel as though things are getting worse instead of improving over time. Maybe you need to talk to someone impartial from outside your family and friends particularly if they have been impacted by the same grief as you and are coping in different ways. It could be that your current situation has brought up feelings of grief from your past and you realise that this hasn't yet been resolved. Whatever your reason, when you ring the Dove Service our team will listen and will be able to support you to make the best decision for you. It is also important to note that if any of your physical symptoms persist you should probably check in with your doctor just to make sure that there is nothing else going on for you. Our Allow Grief leaflet contains information about the natural grief process and can be downloaded from the self-care section on our website.